Hi, I'm Jason Burhill from Brexit TV, and I'm here today to talk with Noel Cunningham. It was around this time last year when I first met Noel. Back then, at 84, we thought you might well be the oldest person in the world still working with CAD. Well, no one has come forward to challenge this claim, so at 85, I'm assuming you are, officially, the world's oldest CAD operator. My father, being a miner, uh, I think he was scared that we'd end up down the mine, so he sent my brother and myself down to Auckland to stay with relatives, and uh, we did our finished our schooling here for the fifth form. Uh, I was then apprenticed. The war was on. It started when I was about 10, ended when I was 16, I think. And I wanted to go to be in the Navy. Pure adventure. Well, it's hard to say that now, knowing that, <clears throat> I mean, the people in Europe, there was no upside to the war as far as they're concerned. I mean, they were they suffered terribly, but to a 14 or 15 year old, it was romantic. I mean, there in the newsreels, you saw these battleships uh, going at high speed, you know, and that impressed me. I could just visualize the engine room. Even now, when I see a big jumbo climbing away to the north here, and it is in full power. And it's good. Yes. Yeah. I can just visualize the turbine straining. <laughs> what makes what makes a good engineer is what makes a good person really. One of the main things is um, you've got to be interested. You have to be able to stick to the job and solve the problem or do the job. A good engineer in a supervisor role thinks of safety first. And then, of course, you've got to keep up with technology, uh, the technology. You've got to keep up with advances. But the main thing is that you have to be able to know when you need expert advice, take it graciously. And also, if you have knowledge, you have to give it freely. And that's, in other words, a decent person will make a decent engineer.